how you doing here? Okay, back on the S-Rock and uh, tried some more tweaks and changes with my easy to boot uh, menu. Our easy to boot multi boot setup system. Let's see. I know Bid Defender ran just fine. Those others I ran. You know, some of those like F Secure and stuff, VBA Rescue, I think I ran them off my little USB stick. Some of those I have on there still. They may not, uh, who knows, they may not work in this easy to boot. It may not be as easy to boot as I thought because I got good luck at first. I don't have any utilities in there. See, you'll see, I guess. What does it have? Oh, there's some stuff that came with it. Some pretty cool tools. Uh, tool, interesting looking tools. In there that I haven't tried out at all because I've been concentrating on trying to get what I, you know, been wanting to work to work. Okay, Linux menu. Okay, so I don't know if I ever actually tried DRBL, but I don't care about that so much right now. That's not going to be useful for anything but booting other machines to this machine. To it's a boot server, or Pixie boot server. And of course, part of magic would be very good. We'll hope it runs, uh, but SMS doesn't. That was the one that I, I think had a. I think it, it it's a. I can't remember which exactly what features it had, but uh, I was thinking I might be able to use it to scan it for viruses. It's a really a, a, it's, a it's got a firewall. It may even have a server in it. Had uh, it may only be good for scanning email systems and stuff. So that's why most of those are appliance network appliance, what they call. Them. Okay, there it is. Fedora 24. Now I'm gonna try one more time at uh, installing. Uh, Clam A V, I'll do it in Fedora 24. Now what does this say? Fedora 24 booted last time, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's see. I don't I couldn't tell where it was. It, I think it was on test the media. I wanna just say start it. They had the weirdest way of doing their highlighting in there. It's always hard to tell where it's really at for me. My left hand gets all tweaked up and can't hold it still anymore switch hands there for a minute but I can't type oh well, I can maybe I should try that I don't know a lot of the keys I use are on the right they're like enter and stuff so I usually try if I'm gonna type left one-handed I'd usually do just the right hand but it booted up okay the last time but it did seem like something was odd about it okay now I see the whole menu I think it was missing yeah, it didn't have the didn't have the full desktop menu. Now I mean, that might have got fixed because I renamed those files and got rid of the spaces and everything. Now that's more like it. Nice simple system. Let's see what's in here. There won't be a lot of apps, just the basic stuff that comes in Fedora. But this is what I I use in for 23 right now. But this is and of course I add all the apps I want. I used to make uh, yum install scripts. I would uh, you can you can run a command to make a list of all your installed apps. But uh, uh, well, I started in like Fedora 14. Well, actually, I started before then. But um, well, I jumped from Fedora 14 using it every day to 22 and 23, and so you, those my scripts wouldn't work anymore. I don't I, I don't like parole media player I, I'm, I've got to see, I don't like it so much I uninstall it I like your VLC is what I use all the time that's uh, Excel I can't remember what that is let's see system tools say J but I'm pretty sure oh it's got G parted um, but I'm pretty sure I can uh, anyway, oh there's uh, groups I forget what they call it but anyway you can install groups of software with uh, certain commands and you know like different types like office and audio video stuff like that and so I did that on oh the Fedora 23 system I'm running now that worked out pretty well of course I should be able to make my install script for a minute but I might have some 
junk I don't actually want, so I might not want to do it that way. But if you start from scratch, it can take months to just get them one at a time, you know. So stalling them, uh, you know, in multiples is a great way to build up a system. So, yeah, there's not a lot of stuff. I don't know why I didn't want to click on there, but I'm just going to... I just wanted to use the icon at the top. Maybe it's because that's the way I use it all the time. The Firefox and all that's in there. Let's open Firefox first just to make sure it's... So if you hurry up and get over to the other desktop, then it'll be in that desktop. I want to make sure it's online and everything. So we got almost done. It always does that in Firefox. Create an account. New Firefox 49 features in Fedora. Hmm. Okay. Um... I'll just leave that open for right now. Yeah, because there's no package manager in here that I saw. Wasn't thinking about it super. It's all right. Okay. Oh, I gotta get root privileges. So I think since it's live, I should be able to just type su. Yep. Okay. Um, install clam AV. Yeah, that worked for me last time. Of course, it says uh, you know we're using DNF now, not Yum, but we'll go ahead and do it for you because we're nice. And uh, that says 47 megabytes. It's 424x8664. Oh, this is x8664. Well, I thought this was a 64-bit machine. I saw something earlier today that made me think that maybe that machine I'm on, that uh, AS Rock, was only 32-bit, but it couldn't be. It's too new of a motherboard. And so I'm running the 64-bit uh, Fedora 24 on it right now, so good. So it uh, went pretty fast last time. I don't know if it will this time or not. It seems to already be slower. I wouldn't think that just having the web browser open would make any difference, but could be taking longer because it's actually working this time and finding everything it needs to find. So I think since nobody needs to wait, I was going to say, who wants to watch command line work very slowly? Uh, okay, so it's actually updating the system is what it's doing, I think. That can take a long time if it's updating the whole system says updates last made it at an expiration check 27th okay there we go might have just been checking for updates for clam EV yeah clam EV clam EV clam EV okay so you, it sounds the same whether it's spelled with a K or a C but this C clam AV C L A M A V is the me hit Y. Y. That is the uh, command line back into it, and then KLAMAV is the KD. It's written for KDE, so it's why there's a K in front of it. Uh, KDE desktop. But that's the GUI. That's the one I like. I think there's another one like QT or something, but I like the I like that one. I like a lot of uh, KDE uh, apps. But I don't care for the desktop too much. I like mate. It's it's a clone of a, or a fork of Genome 2. So hopefully it won't error out like it did in the Fedora 23 live security version. Uh, it was running the XFCE desktop, and there are some. I like it because it's a lot fast and lightweight, and you can even make it look like mate if you want to, but does have some things uh, not available in it that's in mate so that could have been why it didn't do that. that's why I'm trying it again so 
it's working just fine. Seven of fifteen. My hands, uh, my my hands seem to start moving and drooping whenever I look away from my phone and look at the. Looks like it's got a problem though. You get that many lines uh, real quick like that, you know they're errors, and I can yeah, everyone starts with an error. So there's something going on that it just can't install. At least not live. It should install. I better install. Uh, well, that was Fedora 23 and 24, and I have planned maybe running my Fedora 23. So it's just something about it. Got to be something about it doing live, being live, that it can't do it. It's all looks like it's got to do with uh, Python, SQL Lite, uh, disk error. So. Um, I think I'm going to try to uh, install Yumx, Yum Extender, see if that's if I spelled it right. I'm not sure. Let's see. Configure read only file system. Oh, configure read only file system. Var log DNF log. Can't find where I originally wrote the command to see what applies to this and what applies to the. Maybe they have stopped. allow in installing in live file systems. Or it could be the because of the way I've done, uh, you know, I'm running it from easy to boot instead of the normal way you you're, they tell you to uh, to uh, set up uh, Fedora to run on a USB stick. They tell you to put it in, well, the easiest way at least to me, is to put it in a Fedora system and use the disk manager and restore the ISO image. To use the restore function in there and restore that image to your USB stick. Only thing is, it limits your USB stick to exact. Uh, it it uses the whole thing, and it makes it whatever size that ISO is. So then you can't use it for anything else but just to install Fedora as long as it's on there. And then you have to reformat to get rid of it. It's a pain to be in that way, because the you know the other way you can have many other ways to have lots of, you know different uh, ISOs on there and boot to different ones, and you can leave them on there for a pretty good t while. But uh, I don't see my typing when I said. Yum install. I wonder if it wasn't finished reading out and it just took out what I typed and finished its readout. But I was at a command prompt. Maybe it did a whole new set of errors and I didn't catch up, catch that it. I didn't look up at the right time to see them all. Let's see. No, nope, that's just the original. See, that's a long list of errors. You ain't fixing that. So. Hmm. There it is. Yum install Yumx. I finally see it. So. M command bin appreciated transfer tracks from DNF on DNF install DNF install Python plugins extras migrate DNF to migrate. Well if they wouldn't wouldn't run, I could say DNF install uh clam A V just to make sure. 
I don't think that makes any. DNF install climb AV. I think there was maybe one time when. Yeah, it just says file system read only, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, it wasn't that. I didn't think it was, but. Okay. That's the end of all that fun. But, Fedora 24 seems to run good. That's in 2 gig of RAM on a dual core. It's running pretty good. So, if you have anything, you know, newer and more up, up to date system, then, uh, just not really paying attention to this I just thought it looked curious something about I never seen anything on the Fedora this is the Fedora magazine page I never seen anything about Firefox and Fedora together on here before you know Firefox usually I mean they're not they must be working together or something this is when you're testing Firefox uh, when when you're testing Firefox, you should create a new, fresh profile. If something goes wrong, you won't lose data. Oh, like testing a new Firefox version. Fir Firefox space fo slash slash profile manager. And it's all spelled with the capitals in the front. And that probably matters too. And then, then run your profile. Firefox P profile name. No remote. I didn't know you could do that change profiles like that well I knew you could but I did I always did it by because uh, what I'll do so that I can get all my bookmarks and everything is I'll install Firefox or Thunderbird either one it works and then uh, you still could delete you can find the profile folder delete it and then replace it with your old profile from your old install but now I got I think I don't think I think it would work or something but anyway now what I've been doing for the last several years is I copy my old profile over, leave the new profile in there, but uh, don't, you know, I'm not, but, and then I go and I have to edit the, uh, the config file to tell it to go use my profile as the default profile, and then, it's, then it works. Used to, you didn't have to edit that. I think if you edit the new profile now, it, it jacks things up somehow. But it doesn't use it because you can look at the dates of last access and it'll be real old, you know, after a while, you know. So anyway. Um, I um, I don't cannot think of another way to scan this thing again with anything new. I haven't seen anything that I even want to mess with. That was kind of my last one I wanted to try. That uh, whatever it was, I already forgot what the name of it was. So um, let's see if it mounted my drives. Yeah, 250 gigabyte volume, 32. Looks like it mounted everything. It should. Path and directory containing Sage's settings need read and write permissions, home library user. Sometimes you'll get errors and then it'll do it anyway. Hmm. That is some sort of uh, mess. Error, error. It won't go away. Still might not be running perfectly well. So, um, wait, let's go back and see if I can close it from the X. Nope. So, mate system monitor. Yeah, there we go. Um, that's not what I was looking for, but it's kernel 4.5.5 for 2464 bit memory, 1.7 gigabyte, you know, because the rest of that's been used for video memory. Available, available disk space, 35.3 gigabyte. That must be a combination of my SD card and the hard drive that it's talking about there. Let's see. Yeah, there's some. Uh, 
there's some more about the systems. But it looks, I think that they're mounted already. They usually are, unless something got changed. What I was looking for, there it is, CPU, it's all... Yeah, there we go, make system monitor. I was wanted to see if I could find that CJ, and yes. CJ and see if I can stop that process. Not that it actually matters in a live system, but this is a little bit different. It doesn't have that button up there where you click. You have to right click. I'm not going to kill it. It might uh, affect the system. See, it's kind of froze up now. It might be trying to close it still. Sometimes it'll do it. It'll take a little longer than you expect. <coughs> Get this stuff spread out while I can see what it's saying here. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's good enough for now. Okay, it says it stopped, but that little window is still there so um, I could well let's do it hit kill what's the difference I'm going to shut it down anyway now it says say CJ is still sleeping oh but guess what I got rid of it okay so I got rid of that now I'm going to try to open up yeah there's something wrong it I don't know if it's just a bug in the live set distro or in the live ISO or if it's the way things have been going with the easy to boot I would say it might be a more of a bug in what happens when you boot it from easy to boot instead of doing it the way they tell you to do it. It boots and runs okay other than that though. So that also makes me think that uh, yeah, it's just going to do that again. That it, the install might not work out. I don't see that they don't have it on the desktop like usual so anyway shut down shut down okay so mm. arm hurts well it's been a long day started I got up at 2 this morning and it's 2 in the afternoon now got ate breakfast got on the computer and been doing this all day and I was I was gonna just try to get Get it started scanning. Usually that's no big deal. Boot it up, get it scanning, go all back doing other stuff, and then after it finishes, go back and you know see what it does and decide what to do. But uh, that is not how it worked out today. And actually yesterday, it was the same yesterday, wasn't it? I just didn't keep going on it as long yesterday. I got tired of messing with it and I quit earlier. Well, I also went to bed earlier because I was didn't feel good. I was tired, and it didn't feel good. So. Um, I think what I may do next time is uh, still working on stopping user manager. What I'll do next time is um, I think I'll just use my easy to boot down here. A little US that where I have my easy to boot. I don't know why I did that. Um, next time I will... Oh, now it's finally doing something. I think next time... Oh, it's gone. It's down now. So, um... I can take this out. This is the... topic of every day lately. My little USB adapter with a 32 gigabyte SD card and you can't really see it but it's in there. So I will um, boot it up to uh, the Windows 7 install ISO. The one that heck I can't remember. Well I can look in that repair setting. I may go in there first. Make sure I know which version I have. Because I got to use the right version. Because it's already, as long as those files are still there, the you know the license is set and checked by Microsoft and all that stuff. So I can use it to uh, should be able unless it doesn't run right. I should be able to use it to uh, do a repair on Windows. Because the last scan I did had it didn't have any viruses or trojans or anything in the operating system. It just had couple of APK files from my Android phone that was backed up on there that it thought were suspicious and 
think it's just it is saying something about they could send texts and stuff. Uh, basic, I guess basically without any user intervention, which is what's new. What's new about that in f phones, right? Uh, it, but it was an app that was uh, part of the the system of the phone, you know, to talk to the uh, provider. So uh, not that I like that kind of thing, but it's not uh you know not a virus that's gonna bother my windows 7 system so i guess i've just pressed on the last two days trying to do one more scan uh, for nothing really <laughs> kind of thought well uh, maybe i should just go on and say that's good enough and, but uh, so i think that's probably what i'll do and uh, the only other option, well, there's two other options I could have. I could put that, uh, I have a hard drive right down here. Or is it too dark down there? Yep. that mattered at all um, that hard drive is a 30 gig and uh, I could install either Linux like Fedora 24 or um, or not you know or, or the same uh, version of uh, Windows 7 that I had on there the one that I have the license key for yeah if I pull that out I could look at the well I have the license key saved it to a file the numbers so I think it'll tell me what type it is in there. So, um, yeah, check on that and then either fix that one or I could install it on that hard drive and um, then the all the windows and files and everything, everything except for my what I want to keep, my, my phone videos and stuff. Delete all that. And that would give me actually more space for backing up my phones for a little while longer. Of course, <laughs> I've got more i think this phone and that phone together already has more videos on it than can fit on what's left on that drive right now so maybe i should just do a new install on that other 30 30 gigabyte hard drive i'll think about it this evening and well, tomorrow i guess or next time i get on it uh, i'll decide what to do all right, all right. this is dawn bye